Tracker news alert detected. Loading. Please wait. Tracker subscription ID verified. Playing official bounty hunter guild news. Hey there shacklers, this is Garrett Kaliga. Every week, we sift through all the latest tech, bonds, and cons and bringing you only the best info to take into the field. So I want to welcome all our listeners, first timers and old timers. This week's hot sheet is brought to you by ASD. You can trust your life to our weapons, anything less is suicide. ASD. Remember, the following cases are UEE sanctioned bounties to the guild. First up. Devon Court. 1,000 credits for theft of transported cargo. Last seen in Odin system. This is strictly a tracking mission. Client wants to know where court is hiding out. Repeat, this is a do not engage case. Contact the guild for further details. This case is open to entry level guild members and above. Arian Tovino. 7,500 credits for smuggling and illegal transport of organisms. This one comes straight from the Zen Embassy. Tovino is wanted for stealing animals from the Nature Preserve in Neolis system. This case is an open contract with conditions. Technically this case falls under advocacy statute so please contact the guild for further info. Delivery requirement is dead, alive on Tovino but cargo must be intact. This case is open to silver level members and above. Finally, Leon figure 25,000 credits. Originally wanted for murder charges on Ellis but he's killed four of our brothers and sisters in his desperate flight so the guilds even kicked in on the bounty to take him down. Location is unknown but he does have contacts in Cathcart and the Banu Protectorate. Flies a modified cutlass. Open kill contract so if any of you see him, you tag him out, just make sure you leave enough to pull an ID scan. Don't hesitate to contact your local guild rep for the latest contracts or if you have any questions as to your case eligibility. All cases must be performed by licensed guild members in good standing. Moving on. As most of you know, we just got back from DEF CON, the yearly defense and weapons convention featuring products from companies like ASD, RSI, and Valero Space, and Bearing. Our people scoured the floor and checked out the latest prototypes and concepts. Here are a few of the gadgets that caught our eye. Klaus and Werner demonstrated the latest in their TX line of auto lasers. Boasting a higher refresh rate without diminishing individual shot power, the TX3 is about to enter field testing. They had a demo model set up and let me tell you, the puppy whittled down shields in no time at all. Pair that with a good tracking sight. It'll be deadly in a scrap. Our benevolent sponsor, ASD, unveiled a number of new products including the PCR-880 Grappler. Another member of ASD's growing arsenal of non-lethal weaponry, the Grappler fires a concentrated charge of electrical energy, which won't significantly damage the ship but is powerful enough to incapacitate any unprotected occupants inside. Unfortunately, the weapon is only effective against ships whose shields have been disabled but it's still early in the project's development. If they work at the kinks, it would be a great tool for all those capture contracts. At the Joker Engineering booth, the rep demonstrated their new Argus Veil. Developed by Joker's CEO Barlow Elias, the Veil is a hat transponder, capable of projecting customized ship IDs into scans for a limited time. The Joker rep claims that this technology has law enforcement applications but I don't know if a single person believed that line. Feel free to access our coverage of the DEF CON with interviews and further breakdowns of upcoming tech. If you weren't able to make the con, I highly recommend making the trip next time. Gear aside, DEF CON is a great opportunity to meet other shacklers and members of the law enforcement community. Finally. Here are some warning bulletins from our brothers and sisters out there. The Guild cannot confirm the validity of these tips and information may no longer be accurate at the time of this update. Derol System The system's sun is already in the Red Dwarf phase of its evolution and has been shedding off an excessive amount of radiation recently. Pilots should be warned when passing through that it may affect their scans or older model shield generators. Cathgard System 
the pirates on the trash world spiders have instituted a new landing protocol to try and flush out cops, outsiders, and us. Guild member Shar SM reported that when attempting to land, you should not offer up your ship tag until the landing park has asked four times. Any deviation from that system will cause the park to tag and deny your ship for three days. Hadrian System The recent spate of bomb threats against the Zen has tightened up the customs stations in Hadrian. On the plus side, that makes it much more difficult for criminals to get through but, as we all know, the Zen customs are strict on a good day. So expect considerable delays in that system. We're going to take a break but when we come back, we'll break down the new changes to the Bounty Hunter Guild eligibility requirements. So stick around if you can. If you can't, you take care and watch your back. <laughs>